Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my 82nd uh, VB8010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how you can use dates in your uh, VBA code. Uh, so I'm not going to write out this whole code again that I've been doing the last couple of tutorials. I'm literally just going to change the SQL string. Uh, and then that in turn is going to bring out a different record set for me and still write it out onto the page. Uh, all I'm going to do is just in my where section, I'm going to change it so that it selects a certain sales date. So in my sales table, I'm going to look for uh, any sale that has already happened uh, before uh, today let's say so in fact, let's just look for anything that's on the third so let's bring out this one record here so third of the first 2014 uh, so let's push this across and get it out of the way uh, and so we want to do where sale underscore date is equal to and then We've been using uh, the, the apostrophes or nothing for numbers for uh, for the dates you use hashtags uh, and then you just type your date in as a date value and depending on what country you're in you'll need to make sure you're using the appropriate format of so I'm using day, month, year uh, if you're using American dates then you want to do month, uh, day, year, um, and then that will select all of the ones for that month. So let's just check and clear our object. And then when we run this, uh, we should see that we uh, get just the one record in. So let's press play, go into view object, and it's not bringing anything through and that is because uh, it only works in American format uh, and I just wanted to show you that so you just remember that you always put it as month and then day and 2014 uh, and what we're gonna need to do is just now when we press play uh, and we go into our code it's gonna bring it through now so just make sure that you're doing it month, day, year. And what you're going to need to do is sometimes if you've, say, got a date object, uh, it's going to put it in automatically for you. So let's say we put in, instead of having one that I've typed in, we have um, date. Uh, and then that's going to give us today's date, uh, which is the 4th. If we press play and then come across here, then it's not actually going to put anything in. Um, if we press play again, uh, then you'll see nothing's coming in. Um, so what we need to do is we need to make sure we format this date in the right way. So put format, our expression, which is date and then comma and then the format we want so we want month slash day slash year crease bracket uh, and then when we press play it's going to bring it through now because we've got our date in the right order where when it's added in as a text string so you just always need to use this format here which is very important um can be quite hard with dates uh it took me a little while to get used to them when i first started using them so if you've got any questions post them in the comments below or if they're a bit more advanced questions you want to paste your codes then pop onto the forum and put them on there uh, i check the forum every day so you should get a pretty quick response um and if you like these tutorials please subscribe add us on facebook uh follow us on google plus uh, and uh, share with your friends uh, 
and thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial uh, where I'm going to be showing you how to use the between statement. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.